and I sometimes sit dumbfounded as I listen to a reporter discuss why the market's moving up or why the market's moving down. The reasons they give at times, I think, are so oversimplified as to be comical. I often wonder if they're intentionally oversimplifying or if they purposely omit discussing the most likely causes of market moves for fear that you at home simply may not understand. Let me give you a simple example. In August of this year, the stock market moved significantly lower in what the media called a flash crash. This event included one of the top 10 worst days in the history of the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Since the talking heads on television always promised to deliver and provide the answers immediately, they had to give viewers a reason for the drop on the spot. My experience is that they seem to have a list of go-to explanations for most market moves. This time, they pulled out the old high-frequency trading and lack of transparency as being the cause. They basically blamed electronic trading. They quickly were airing conversations to viewers about market reforms to help improve these causes and conditions. Whether the news outlets were right or not didn't matter. All the folks at home who digested this as a cause were fed information that is now part of their beliefs to one degree or another. The reasons given much later on, when analysts had time to look at all the mechanisms that played into that historical day, ended up being much different, and that is still being studied. I thought of a similar event back in May of 2010, which had a 1,000-point flash crash. You might remember that. Back then, the media also pointed to the same culprits, high-frequency traders. Enough time has passed and research conducted since that event to have come up with an entirely different set of reasons. In fact, the conclusion the SEC came up with, along with the Commodities Futures Trading Commission, specifically stated that high-frequency trading did not cause the flash crash. The staffs of these two agencies discovered that futures contracts in Chicago, specifically something called the E-mini futures, had a liquidity crisis and it caused a price drop of 5% within four and a half minutes. Did the news outlets issue a correction or even apology? Not that I heard. That was yesterday's news. And what I described briefly earlier is not something most viewers would quickly grasp or tie together. Perhaps they're afraid to give too much information because they don't think their audience can handle it. 